Hello, my name is Raven Hodges. My major is social work. My mentor was Dr. Lee. And the title of my research is The Effects of Substance Abuse and Mental Ill Illness Amongst Homeless Veterans. So according to the National Survey of Homeless Veterans, there are approximately 17,480. This number tends to fluctuate depending on the resource that you're using. But the important thing within this research is that um, it's aiding and promoting preventative resources for homelessness amongst veterans. So the purpose of this study is basically to provide statistical data to um, provide, get those resources for the veterans from the Veteran Affairs, so the VA. So that's the, the most important part of this research as well. There were two hypotheses within the research that I conducted. The first one was that mental illness, specifically PTSD, um, would be related to the duration of homelessness amongst veterans, and then that substance abuse, specifically mental, not, excuse me, specifically drug abuse and substance abuse, drug abuse and alcohol abuse, excuse me, will be directly related to um, homeless veteran as well. So the methodology, um, the data, it was a secondary data analysis, basically meaning that uh, my professor that I was my, was my mentor, he um, conducted research first, and then I took um, from the data pool from his research. So in, in, there was 156 participants in total. Um, I took 29 that were counted as veterans and were homeless. These are the independent variables. Um, with their specific, um, their specific measures. Um, so we measure degressive symptoms, depressive symptoms, drug abuse, alcohol abuse. The correlations that were found, so the first numbers, they show that there's a strong correlation between alcohol abuse and depression. Um, this supports the idea of comorbidity, which will be talked about in our next slide. And the next one also, it showed that there's a strong correlation between PTSD and duration of homelessness. This supports, um, it proves that the hypothesis was right. So part of my hypothesis was correct. So if we go back to my hypothesis, it was that um, mental illness, PTSD, would be related to the duration of veteran homelessness. And then also that the substance abuse would be related to the duration of veteran homeless. So it proves that first one correct. And then it also, um, it emphasizes there needs to be more health resources um, allocated to this population. And then lastly, um, there was an extremely strong correlation between PTSD and depression, um, which was expected because those are both mental illnesses. And that just goes to show that there needs to be more aggressive treatments for veterans. So we're talking about the correlation that we saw earlier. So comorbidity is basically meaning that there are two things. So say for instance, if I had, um, or a veteran, they had a substance abuse issue and a mental health issue as well. They're just working together in a sense. So if you go to um, a clinic to get treated for your drug addiction, they won't be treating your mental health issue as well. So that kind of leaves you at a disadvantage. So you're, you're treated from your, drugs, your drug addiction, but you're still out there on the street struggling with a mental illness. And so if we look at um, the correlation between alcohol and depression, um, these authors right here, they basically state that it's five, homelessness is five times more likely to happen when an individual has an alcohol disorder. So if we're going back to that example, um, we're, it's, it's a hindrance in a sense. So it's not doing you any justice by getting one help for one thing and not help for the other thing. So the limitations within this study um, were that it was secondary research, as I mentioned earlier. And because of that, I could not modify the questions to suit my specific needs, so I was just taking from whatever questions my professor asked in his research that best suited for the research that I was doing. And then also that the sample size, so it was hard to generalize something when there was only 29 people, 29 veterans that were considered homeless, compared to, say for instance, we had 1,000, that would be a little more significant than that 25, 29, excuse me. The importance of this research is also that within this region, there's nothing within the circuit that promotes this awareness. So, um, and it's kind of difficult to have something else um, beyond regionally as well that examines PTSD and mental illness and how that's related to veteran homelessness. And then also, um, the statistics evidence that's supporting this need um, is difficult to find as well.
So in conclusion, um, veteran homeless is a problem that can hopefully be decreased um, by following these steps. So by first recognizing that correlation between PTSD and homelessness, and then once you recognize that, looking at the side effects that come with it. So anxiety, um, substance abuse, isolation, mental illness. So when you're recognizing those separate individual things, you're, kind of, you're taking those steps to solve the bigger issue at hand. And then secondly, to also having proper individual resources um, for, the specific, for the specific veteran. That's very important because we're all individual people, so we can't use a plan um, for everybody when it's just, I'm having this specific issue. Those are my resources. <laughs>